Hello there guys, my name is Mr. Yorkies World, welcome back to the channel. In today's video I'm going to show you how I import my flight plans from Simbrief and into the new PMDG 737 for Microsoft Flight Simulator. This method works for the 737-700 and will most likely work for all other aircraft from PMDG as well. So the process itself does work best if you have a Navigraph subscription, but it's not a necessity as such, it just makes it a little bit easier, a little bit more realistic. Now it's important to note that this is not a tutorial on how to configure the FMC for the 737. It purely is just a tutorial on how to load the route which you've got from Simbrief into the FMC. I'll make another tutorial on how to configure the rest of the FMC in the future. So when I'm planning a flight, I like to first go to the dispatch screen on Simbrief and plan the flight itself. For example, this is going to be the flight plan that I did in my most recent video from Gatwick to Edinburgh. So once I've got all the route information entered into Simbrief, I then click the Generate Flight button. That's going to take a few seconds, but then once it's done, I'm going to scroll down the page until I come to the Flight Plan Download section. Now here you need to find the PMDG Flight Plan and download that file. This is going to be compatible with the PMDG 737's FMC. It's probably going to be the same format for the 747 and the 777 when those two aircraft come out as well. Now when it comes to choosing where to download that file to, you're going to need to locate the PMDG Flight Plans folder on your PC. Now this may vary from system to system. In my case, it's located in C, Users, Your Username, App Data, Local, Packages, Microsoft Flight Simulator, and then a bunch of uh, numbers and letters. Local State, Packages, PMDG Aircraft 737, Work, and then Flight Plans. Now that's a very long directory. It might be the same for you. It should be reasonably the same. But either way, once you've downloaded the file into that directory or copied it into that directory, you can load up the sim and go into the RTE page or root page of the FMC in the 737 like you usually would. So in the co-root box, you need to type the name of your root that you've just downloaded minus the .rte extension. So for example, for the Gatwick to Edinburgh flight, that's going to be EGKK EGPH. You then need to click the button next to Flight Plan, which says Request, and then press the key next to Select to select it. Wait for a few seconds and the FMC will display a message saying Root Uplink Ready. And then you need to select Load when that appears. You'll get a message saying Root Uplink Loading. Again, just wait for a few seconds and another message should then read Root Data Uplink. You can now press the Activate button and then the Execute button on the FMC and the route has successfully been loaded into the FMC of the 737. So from here you just need to go and select your Departure and Arrival or SID and STAR from the DEPR page, enter your fuel and weights etc and you should be good to go. So I hope this video helped guys, thanks again for watching. If you'd like to see more videos like this then don't forget to subscribe to the channel and leave me a like if you did enjoy this video. If you've got any questions put them in the comments below and I'll do my best to answer them. But in the meantime, thanks again for watching guys and I'll see you in the next one. Bye for now.